Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we are going to test the new OpenStack SDN connector in FortiGate. We have an OpenStack installation with Red Hat OpenStack platform where we have placed three different VMs connected to different networks. For the sake of simplicity, we have included our FortiGate here, which is connected to a management network and has a floating IP associated for external use. We have also included a couple of auxiliary Thiros VMs connected to different networks. If we have a look to instances view, we can see the same three VMs displayed in previous network topology view, and we can observe that this VM and the FortiGate are connected to the same management network, and the FortiGate has allocated a floating IP as we said before. Finally, this VM2 is connected to a private network. Then we have to open our FortiGate GUI using this floating IP and the proper credentials, and we will also rearrange the windows for better visualization. In the next step, we will create the OpenStack SDN connector, and for that we have to go to Security Fabric, then Fabric Connectors, and click on Create New. We click on OpenStack Horizon icon, and then fill in the parameters corresponding to our installation. Normally, the IP can be obtained from OpenStack Identity Endpoint. The new connector is displayed in this screen and we must check that the status is OK by the green color of the small icon. It is always interesting to open a console and execute some diagnose debug commands to ensure that everything is working as expected. We will use diagnose debug application OpenStack D-1 to get some status messages dumped by FortiGate when the connector is started up. As you can see, the connector first requests new tokens for each project and then it gets the list of IP addresses. You can always use these messages as a reference in case you have trouble with your own installation. And now the interesting part. If we go to Policy and Objects and we create a new address, we will see what the OpenStack connector has retrieved for us. We must put a name and select the fabric connector address, then select OpenStack, and then in the filter we have a number of possibilities. For now we will use the project tag to retrieve all IPs from the admin project. As you can see there is a new object named project uh, which has a red strip indicating that it hasn't retrieved all of the information from OpenStack yet. We have to refresh the console a couple of times and then the object is ready to be used. If we hover over it, we can see the full list of IPs from VMs in the admin project. In the next example, we are creating another new object, basically repeating the same steps as before, but now we will get the IPs belonging to a particular VM. For that, we have to use the tag ID in combination with the OpenStack ID of the VM we want to reference. Once the object is created and after refreshing the list, we see the object resolving to the proper IP of the reference VM. It is also possible to filter IPs based on the network they belong to. In the next case, we are creating an object that collects the IPs from the network private. Since only one VM belongs to this network, the object resolves to a single IP. The next case presents an interesting scenario, a filter to get IPs from VMs by using their name. The particular fact here is that there may be VMs with the same name allocated in different projects. Uh, therefore, our connector will retrieve the IPs from every VM matching the name from every project or tenant created in our OpenStack installation. 
As you can see, this object resolves to three IPs, but only two of them belong to our FortiGate in admin project. The missing IP is located in a parallel demo project where an instance also named FortiGate is present. Another interesting example to show in combination with the new filter for selecting a particular flavor is the use of the ampersand operator that uh, will give us the possibility to join conditions with logical operation AND. Thus, in this example, we will get all IPs from VMs using flavor n1.nano and belonging to admin project. There are only two VMs created using this flavor in this admin project, indicated by the red arrows. To finalize, we will show how to use the vertical pipe logical operator OR. In the same way that we combined conditions in the previous example, we can use OR operator to join the IPs returned from different conditions. In this example, we are joining the IPs from VMs in Project Admin and Project Demo. So that's it. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the video.